Welcome to the online video resources for head and neck by numbers. My name is Felicia Sigurd, and I am a dental hygienist and the author of Head and Neck by Numbers. I will also be your guide through the names, locations, and relationships outlined in the text. So let's start with how we use the text. It is very important that you do not write the names on the pictures. The whole point is that you're going to write the number that associates with the other page. So then you can flip it around with that coil binding and just look at the image and quiz yourself. So we'll go through, if you're looking at figure one, the way it would work is I would say number one is superior and on the screen will flash the image of what you need to color. Now these videos were made to be short, so I'm not going to just stand here while you color. So feel free to pause me, color, and then start again. Now we have to get something straight. I am not giving you the grade for this class. So if you find that there's a discrepancy between my book and what your teacher tells you, go with your teacher, okay? But other than that, I think that your teacher and I are both helping you to be a better student and learn anatomy in fun and interesting and hopefully helpful ways. Figure 18 is the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve. Number one is the trigeminal ganglion. Number two is the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. Number three is the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. Number four is the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve. Number five is foramen spinosum. Number six is the meningeal nerve. This nerve enters the skull through the foramen spinosum and innervates the dura of the brain. Number seven is the foramen rotundum. This is the foramen through which the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve exits the skull. Number eight is the zygomatic nerve, and it enters the orbit through the inferior orbital fissure. Number ten is the zygomaticotemporal nerve. It innervates the skin of the temple. Number eleven is the zygomaticotemporal foramen. Number 12 is the zygomaticofacial nerve, and it innervates the skin of the cheek. Number 13 is the zygomaticofacial foramen. If you need help remembering the branches of the zygomatic nerve, just think that it's a zygomatic fanatic because every single branch has the phrase zygomatic in it. Number 14 is the infraorbital nerve. To remember these innervations, just orbit the infraorbital foramen. You start here at the upper lip, to the cheek, to the lower eyelid, and the side of the nose, the infraorbital nerve. Number 15 is the infraorbital foramen. Number 16 is the anterior superior alveolar nerve. This nerve is commonly anesthetized for dental treatment. It has two innervations the maxillary anterior teeth, and the nasal cavity. Number 17 is the middle superior alveolar nerve. This also can be anesthetized for dental treatment. It innervates the maxillary premolar teeth and the mesial buccal root of the first maxillary molar. Number 18 is the incisive foramen. Number 19 is the ganglionic nerve. It acts like a rope that's holding up number 20, the pterygopalatine ganglion. The pterygopalatine ganglion has a lot of branches and all of them have the phrase palatine in them. Listen close as we go through them. Number 21 is the sphenopalatine foramen. Number 22, the nasopalatine nerve, is the first branch off the pterygopalatine ganglion. It innervates the anterior hard palate and the lingual gingiva of the anterior maxillary teeth. The nasopalatine nerve can be anesthetized for dental treatment. Number 23 is the descending palatine nerve. It's about to split into the greater and lesser palatine nerves. Number 24 is the lesser palatine foramen. Number 25 is the lesser palatine nerve. It innervates the soft palate, the palatine tonsils, and the uvula. Number 26 is the greater palatine foramen. Number 27 is the greater palatine nerve. It innervates the posterior portion of the hard palate and the lingual mucosa for the maxillary posterior teeth. 
The greater palatine nerve can be anesthetized for dental treatment. Number 28 is the posterior superior alveolar nerve. It has both internal and external branches. Number 29 is the external branches of the posterior superior alveolar nerve. It innervates the buccal mucosa for the maxillary molars. Number 30 is the posterior superior alveolar foramen. And number 31, the internal branches of the posterior superior alveolar nerve enter through this foramen. Those internal branches of the PSA innervate the maxillary molars, except for the mesiobuccal root of the first molar, which is innervated by the middle superior alveolar nerve.